Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Iyer Harris and some of these beautiful jalapenos that I'm going to process and preserve so this winter when we make our chili uh, we uh, got a little nice and heated chili for us keep us nice and warm This thing was loaded. Loaded with jalapenos. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so the other day I was out here and uh, I got some footage out and I'll show you um, what a squash bug looks like and what their eggs look like. So you can kind of see what uh, if you see that on your squash plants or even cucumbers, because they will go after cucumbers, uh, what to look for for that. Uh, how we treat those is uh, pretty easy, really. I do a, a mix of uh, neem oil and a mix of uh, peppermint oil. Oh, that's a fat one. That's a, that's a big good. Some cream cheese, <laughs> and I spray that on at night. <clears throat> Let me move you over here a little bit. So we're harvesting this one right there, uh, and I spray those on at night after the sun goes down because the neem oil will burn. Uh, the sun and neem oil will help burn the plant a little bit. So put them on late evening. When the sun goes down, in that way. Woo. Overnight, the plant absorbs it. And neem oil doesn't really kill squash bugs. Um, what it does is it uh, prevents the squash bugs from feeding on the stem of the plant. Basically, you're starving them out. But if you see them, you can definitely woo, go ahead and uh, smash them. They won't bite you. You'll be fine. <laughs> and you see their eggs. Uh, take them off from that one, too. Woo. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I got some... Uh, Maybells over here I need to go ahead and put in too. Which uh, I'm going to use these this winter for our uh, bee stew. Look at those. Pretty, pretty. Bee stew and chicken stew. This is winter when you get the, the gloomies. That'll work out really, really well. There we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty. All right. And if you don't know what a Maybell is, I'm gonna put this out there. This is a Maybell pepper. Pretty little thing. These are the peppers we're getting off of it. Good size. And uh, I got these seeds from uh, Arsenic Element. And I'll make sure I put a, a link to his channel down below. Because this thing just... Look how big that is. Huge. Huge. Huge pepper. Uh, so I'm going to go around and do random shots for you guys. So you see what we got going on. And then if we've ha harvested something from it already... Um, I'll make sure I put its harvest weight and then at the end you have our total weight uh, so far for the year for our shed or scarf tissue. So here we go. This is our acorn squash. 
growing in a red side of Corbel. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm loving how this is working out. Uh, the Corbels are retaining water really, really nicely. No uh, squashes growing on there yet that I can see, but uh, plenty of flowers. So any week now we'll start harvesting these guys. Zucchini plants, I transferred these from a grow bag into the raised bed here. I've gotten two zucchini so far. I'm hoping by transferring it, these will start coming back a little healthier and start looking good. And we'll see how it goes. Isn't that pretty? If you know what flower that is, leave a comment below. Our corn just started tasseling. It's a little plot. Um, we haven't harvested anything out that yet, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, should be another couple weeks. Our strawberries. These guys have been eaten alive by Japanese beetles. I didn't think beetles went after strawberries, but apparently they do. So I sprayed these down yesterday with uh, neem oil and peppermint oil. Hopefully they'll bounce back. But they're, they're pretty much done for the year. And we got a pretty decent harvest of these already. Tomatoes have gone wild. Uh, as much as I have wanted to keep up hop of them, forget about it. These things have overtaken this whole side of the bed. But I am starting to see some red ones in there. Peeking around. So we're gonna probably start harvesting these here in the next couple days. Cucumbers are doing really well. Uh, I think we've harvested probably 30 or 40 cucumbers off this. And I'm gonna come in here and get the rest of these out of here. Uh, look like they're starting to dwindle down a little bit. Thank goodness, because you can only do so much with so many cucumbers. <laughs> But yeah, they, they've been mass producers and big cucumbers. And good ones, too. These are the Kajari melons. This is our first year growing these. So, I'm not entirely sure when we need to start harvesting. Because, again, I just don't know. Do you treat it like a cucumber or a cantaloupe? We wait for the, the bind it off a little bit there at the end of the melon. Just to show you what I'm talking about. This is a young one, so it's not even close, but do you wait till this part here dries out and then harvest it? I just don't know. That one, is that one probably good to go? No, nope, still dry. So, uh, if you know below, let me know in the comments because they're starting to come on. Sorry about all the traffic noise, but uh, we're starting to see some melons up in here. There's one peeking. I don't know if you can see them right in there. Uh, so if you know when the best time to harvest Kajari melons, let us know down below. These are dragon tongue beans. Um, really good producers. Um, we'll definitely be growing these again next year. So there we go. Uh, not too bad a start for uh, the end of July and our harvest weights. Um, and until next time, be safe, be blessed, and we'll see you soon.